I'm going to show you how to form the shoulder. That needs to be 20 millimeters deep um, and it needs to be uh, leave you with a, a spigot which is 12 millimeters in diameter. Okay, so. We're going to use uh, this wheel predominantly to do this. Uh, what I need to do is to set it to zero. Uh, it makes it easier if you do that. Then you, your calculations go straight off the wheel. So that's reading zero now. Uh, so I can take this to a cut, um, point two. And then we can bring that in. So we've cut uh, about 20 millimetres on there. Now it won't matter at the moment quite how accurate that is. Uh, because the bar still needs to be turned down to 18 millimetres. Um, but at the moment, we are 19 millimetres there. Almost like I've done it before, isn't it? So what we can do is we can set this at 20. And you remember I said when you set it, uh, it will look like this. So uh, what I've done is I've lined the zero up with the 20. So that means that that gap is exactly 20 millimetres. I tighten up this screw on the top here, that will stop it moving. I'll put a little bit of ink on the work here. And then I can use this to just make a mark on the edge of that work. So there is a line, I don't know how clear that is for you to be able to see, but there's a line there on the work. I don't know, maybe if I move that around, you can just see it. So it's a little scratch there. When that spins, you'll be able to see it as the operator. And that gives you a guide as to where you're working from. But like I say, if you overcut it, it's not really going to matter to start with. It will matter the further along the part we get. Two large uh, sections on that scale. It's about as much as you can take off this in steel. And you'll notice that I'm not I'm not throwing the tool at the work. It's quite gentle. Pressure is constant. Getting quite close now to where I think we probably need to be. Now let's just have a quick measure and see where we are in relation to that. So I just take the
Okay, so that's reading just over 15 millimeters. So we need to take a few more off to get to 12. So we'll carry on uh, and just do that. If you're unsure, it's always best to be sure. So do stop the machine and check it. Make sure that you're uh, you're exactly where you need it to be. Uh, the other way to do it is to set the uh, the machine. Again, I've set that to 12 millimeters now, with the 10, 11, 12 being on the zero line there. And if I tighten this nut at the top, that means that I can keep trying that now to see so that we can get that to exactly the right size that we need it to be. I'm going down to much finer increments on this now than I was before. Just one major degree rather than two. So still a way away yet. Always best to be sure that keep checking your work. Remember if you take too much off, you can't put it back on. Twelve millimeters, not bad. 